All right, <clears throat> I'm uh, going to modify the uh, logo a little bit. And so I'm going to uh, record this. I use a tool called paint.net. It's a free tool for Windows. And it's sort of like uh, Photoshop. And then I can do layers and all that kind of stuff. And it's free. And I've been using it for years. So we're going to go ahead and open up that graphic that I just downloaded. I'm going to go over here. Here it is right here. So we're going to open it up. The dimensions are 108 by 108. We don't need that. That's what we're going to do right now. First thing I'm going to do is crop it down. So let's keep it like maybe that. It might be a little high, but I want to keep some buffers on there. So, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Drop it down right quick. And then I want to, hmm, let's do this. Uh, let's, uh, first I'm gonna make a copy of it in case I mess it up so bad. I always have one that I can go back on the right side. You see here we got layers. So I'm gonna take that one, make it invisible. Work on the top one, okay. And so what I'm gonna do right here is I'm actually gonna take all of the background out to make sure that the tolerance is very, very weak so I can keep a lot of it. Boom, delete that. That makes it transparent. I want that to be transparent as well. When you make transparent backgrounds, make sure that you get the inside of the text or other graphics so that it bleeds through all the way. Unless you want the effect of the insides being filled but which you just leave a lot of leaves. But anyway, I gotta do this real quick because I only got five minutes. Okay. So that allows me, I'm gonna add another layer up here. I can simulate different backgrounds on how they would look. Let's say if this was a red background, I can paint bucket, hit the red, drop the layer down a couple times. Boom, and I see what that looks like on a red background. And I can change different backgrounds, change the color, or add different backgrounds. But in this particular case, I don't even think I even want a background. So I'll just make that like that. But what I do want to do is I want to bevel this or drop shadow. So first, let's take a look at just the drop shadow real quick. Um, a drop shadow, and I can change the color. Uh, of the drop shadow and the range and all that stuff, but you know, I probably should have uh, cut it a little bit more as far as getting rid of all the other white. But anyway, let's take a look at the bevel though, because that might be advantageous like that uh, on the bevel. So let's see, boom, bevel that, yeah. We'll just leave it like that. Okay, so we're going to bevel that. And we're going to, I'm going to slim it down a little bit more. So I'm going to go here. And So going to bring that some to da, da, da. that looks a little better. Crop you down. All right. I'm going to save this. I'm going to save it as a paint.net. So then I can do it. This is a uh, uh, content development tools. I'm going to put this in here. I should have named it different, but at any rate, we're running out of time. I want to do one other thing. 